Um, well, good evening. Just a quick check-in from us um, to um, first of all show off that we have now got a tripod, new steady filming um, from us compared to our previous efforts. Also to say, um, what might you do tomorrow, um, given we won't be able to gather together as church? What are the other options? At eight o'clock in the morning on local radio and ten past eight on BBC Radio 4, there'll be a national service led by the Archbishop of Canterbury, and that will be on the internet uh, live video at nine o'clock. Um, if you are into live streaming, then at ten o'clock, um, you can find the service from Christchurch Cathedral in Oxford. You'll find the link to that if you go to the Diocese of Oxford webpage, and you can look at that there. And you can also download the order of service um, and be part of that service at ten o'clock. Later in the morning, we'll upload uh, a sermon and a Bible reading and some prayers from our own church. Uh, we are thinking about if you are at home with children. Um, children are a vital part of our church family. So just have a think, what might work for you tomorrow? Maybe um, dig out a children's Bible, pick a favourite Bible story that you could read through together and then think, who would you like to pray for on this Mothering Sunday? Who loves and cares for you? Um, find some way that you can do something together. Maybe your children even will remember a song um, that they sing at school or we sing at toddlers. Um, maybe you can find a way to worship together. And at seven o'clock in the evening, Churches Together in England is asking all of us to light a candle and put it in our windows as a reminder of the light of Christ shining in dark times. So let's remember that even though we are apart, we are church together, um, that, um, that we will be praying um, with and for each other tomorrow, even though we can't physically be together. Do take care and God bless.